What do you think is down there? Oh, that was a bad idea to start with. Holy shit, dude, no. Wait. The city of Prague, where I live in and where we're based in, has been going through some minor changes lately, and most people applaud to those changes. Well, I do not, and let me explain you why. That's why we arrived to this place, where a tiny little change has happened, and that is this crosswalk, so people can cross the road. It may seem like a good change, but how long did it take the city to paint these white lines on this road? It took nearly seven years. Seven years of processing a fact that somebody will paint white lines on the road? The city started deciding this idea back in 2013. That's a year when Instagram started allowing you to upload videos. And I don't mean reels or stories, just videos. That's back when iPhone 5 was uh, hyping. That's when the city said, let's paint white lines on this road. You know when they finalized it? In 2020. How can it take so long and how can somebody look at it in a positive way? There should be someone responsible for taking it so long. I mean, we were able to build the largest bridge in our city within a couple of years. We were able to build a funicular up on the hill between the years. No, it took less than half a year. So why the hell does it take seven years to paint this? And now if you think that as a tourist, you don't care how long it took, finally there's a crosswalk that you as a tourist can use. Well, there's other changes the city did that actually will affect you in a negative way when you come to Prague. In the recent days, people were super happy about a change that happened to this highway. There's a new crosswalk so you can cross the highway without going under it. It may seem like a good change, but nobody really noticed where does the crosswalk take you to? and it takes you to this place. And what the hell is this? I do not know, because I'm sure this is not a sidewalk. Maybe this is a weird art gallery, and for sure that is not a wheelchair ramp. And if it is, wow. You can clearly see that the space that we're criticizing here is temporary, even though it's being used by thousands of people every day. But if we cross the street to the place over there, that change there is permanent, but it's not being used yet. It's for new tram tracks that will be here years from now. Yet that is not temporary, it's permanent. But here, where thousands of people use it every day, that's temporary. It was built by Bob the Builder and his, I don't know, one-eyed son. By the way, that place that is gonna be used for trams is now only being used by YouTubers that build their own trams. <laughs> by the way, cool video. <laughs> This sidewalk has recently made the news as one of the big changes to Prague because back in the days it was very narrow, so they made it wider. And it was on many newspaper pages, uh, people were posting about it on Facebook saying how awesome it is, but nobody really came to look at the sidewalk, more specifically where it leads to. Now this famous new sidewalk leads to exactly uh, this. And what is this? I don't know. Well, this is a traffic sign. That's the entrance to the garages. And this is a fence uh, preventing me from going to the train station. So this is where you kind of end up. I don't really know who um, designed this or who thought of this, but if I was a tourist and I would be walking on this fairly nice sidewalk and I would arrive here, I'd be like, damn, man, this Eastern Europe thing is really hitting hard here in Prague. <laughs> Look around, dude. Nobody thought of an idea of like, making a little door here. Like people will go to the train station to like go to the trains. What do you think is down there? Do you want to go there? Let's do it, man. Oh, that was a bad idea to start with. Holy shit, dude, no fucking way. I will never tell you what I saw down there. In this video, we're criticizing things that are usually viewed positively in our city. And we've actually made a video a week ago where I walk on these same spots and I talk about them in a nice way. And in this video, I'm sort of trash talking them. And now we've arrived to the big square here in Prague, the Wenceslas Square. And you're probably, if you've seen the previous video, are now expecting me to trash talk this place. But we've been here for an hour with Honza and we consider the change that happened here, uh, the change from a road to a pedestrian zone that is open to people, absolutely great. And I cannot see a single negative thing to say about it, except for the scam money changer over there, the scam exchange office, a bunch of Trnelnik stands. That's pretty much it. 
it's pretty cool. This used to be a parking lot. Nowadays, it's a square for pedestrians, which is an awesome change, right? Well, yes it is, but I mean, all they did was like put up a sign and bunch of concrete blocks so cars couldn't come in, but that's it. Nobody was like, well, you know, let's do something actual with the square. Because I mean, if somebody wants to come in with a car, they just move the block. By the way, that's what I did when I needed to film a video here with BMW 7 Series. So I think it's incomplete. Also, the entire square is not leveled. It still sort of shows the layout of the original parking lot. And apparently they can't level it because of the historical protection office, which is like, what? Uh, there's always people who will find a reason why it can't be done. Well, I hope one day we'll come across a person who'll say, I'll find a way how it can be done. The most recent change in Prague is this park. And people seem to love it. They sit around and look. But just make sure you only look the right way because the minute you look the wrong way, like at that part of the park, which is just hideous, or if you look at these um, patios that are used for tourist boats that are just abandoned here, nobody seemed to be using them or taking care of them, don't look that way. And also this path that is here for bicycles leads from nowhere to nowhere. I mean, it starts at a parking lot and it ends at a parking lot. It is like dead end on both ends. So I guess it's only intended for your bike to go there and back. Uh, so some see it positively, I do not. So if I get it right, you ride on your bike here and then you hit this spot. And what am I supposed to do with my bike here? Oh, here's a parking spot for my bicycle. So I put it here and then I guess I transfer to a car. That's the idea here. Uh, I, don't, I don't get it, man. Maybe in the future, there'll be tramps. In the recent days, the Prague tram stops have been doubled in size because a lot of people travel on the Prague trams. So as you can see, uh, half of it is old and half of it is like new and added to it. And when you look at it, I mean, it's a positive change. We got double the size, but it looks kind of weird. Like, why is this like added to it? Like, are they going to get rid of it one day? Because in the ideal world, you take this big piece of stone and you'd move it and put the little tiles in between, right? Why would you add this to it? But we don't live in an ideal world. We live in an old historical city that is full of rules that we have to follow. And we made the rules so strict that we cannot move this here. We have to bring a new addition to it. A little white brother that we now call the Prague Lego. Bizarre, I know. There's other little minor changes to the city that I consider to be negative. For example, yes, you can buy a ticket on the tram with your card, but it still prints out a piece of paper and tourists are quite often still confused if then they should take that piece of paper and validate it. Uh, and also the city claims to have a deal with the Lime scooters, yet they're still everywhere on the sidewalks, on the roads, and tourists ride them on the sidewalks. And um, the approach that I have, or the way I look at it, is definitely negative. Now, if you think like, well, that's been a lot of changes, Yannick, that actually seem to be quite positive and you took like a very negative approach towards them, you're right. Uh, and if you haven't seen our video from the last week, when we're looking at the exact same things and I'm talking in a positive way about them, you may be confused and you will be even more when you watch the video. So please do so, uh, go on our channel and go a week uh, in the past and you'll see what I'm talking about. The reason we did this video is because uh, me and Honza, when we were preparing today's things that we wanna show, I was saying like, these are great changes, but there are little things on them that I look at from a negative perspective. And Honza said, well, how about we do two videos? And I was like, why not? Now, to be honest, we're most curious if people will watch more and like and comment more on the video that will have the title of positive changes in our city or the negative changes to our city. From what we know uh, from the past, we know that people like to watch more the negative stuff rather than the positive. My name is Yannick, that is Honza. We go by the Honest Guides of Prague and we can see you here on our channel next week. And in the end, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word right after a guy passes in front of our camera. And the word today will be uh, potchot, which is an underpass, uh, potchot, underpass. But uh, potchot is only for pedestrian uh, underpass. If it's podiest, 
it's for cars to underpass. So we have two different words and, and it depends if it's for pedestrians or for cars. Podchot, podiest.